Hey there, strangers, my name's Neos, and welcome back once again to Oregon Trail. Last time, a lot of stuff happened. Meat Shield got bitten, Squiggles got bitten, all sorts of bad things happened, and while I was, uh, before recording this, I was looking at, where is it, a roadmap here. We have made it a whopping third of the way there. <laughs> Like, the, I, I don't know why we looped around like this. We could have gone from there to there and saved three stops, or at least to there, maybe, possibly, I don't know. See, like, from there to there, it's like the same distance. We could have done that unless there's, like, mountains here. I don't think there are, like, mountains are all over here. Either way, we have uh, gone seven of these, and I think we have 13 more stops before we make it to the end. Maybe if they just had nuked in the middle here, we could have gone that way. That would have been great. But either way, so you get these landmarks and your route. Oh, that's how that works. All right, so I'm guessing these have more options than these do. I'm not entirely sure. Or maybe it's completely irrelevant. I have no clue, but our station wagon is about to be completely wrecked and shredded and stuff. And it's got zombie guts all over the wheels. And by zombie guts, I, of course, mean jelly and or Kool-Aid. They're purple and stuff. That's obviously, that's what that is. I need a... Why have I not been finding any scrap? Oh, maybe I need to scavenge? No, I've been scavenging. I just haven't found any scrap while scavenging. Um, let's see, what stuff do you have in the town for me to do job wise? 22 bucks, $45, but suicide difficulty. Don't think I want that. So, um, see, so yeah, I've dropped something. Great value outside. If you can get that, would be great. 22 bucks. And it's, uh, uh, lucky to survive, or lucky to be out alive, but I dropped something precious to me in the middle of a zombie horde. How about screw you? All right, so find supplies what we have. We have a uh, 61 bolts. That's good. So, what do you say we go ahead and go out and scavenge a little bit and see if we can um maybe find find some scrap like right over here. This is exactly what I wanted. Thank you. That's awesome. Thanks so much. So I'm gonna um man, I'm gonna try not to shoot too many zombies here. I I was like when we started like the first episode, I was shooting left and right, center, willy nilly. I was killing everything I could find because let's be honest, shooting zombies is really fun. But um, that's probably a really bad idea because I need ammo is something. Oh, poor scrap over here is something very finite and it's incredibly important if you don't want to die. So it's probably best not to have that happen. No, 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 no. Okay, that answered my question from the last episode. I was wondering if the sprite of the zombie even touched you, if that counted. Get it, get it, get it, get it. I don't think I got it. No, you suck. Or did I? I don't know. I got 15 scrap though. Oh, I got 15 scrap. That means for my car, I could really repair this. Unfortunately, it, it does it by a percentage system, so like a 10 scrap, 10 of my 15 scrap would only give, well, would give me a 92% chance of success. But that's a lot of scrap. Um, if I do this, if it succeeds three times, that would almost fill it up. But it's not gonna do it three times because of that. Um, I'm gonna do this though, it seems like a, a better choice than spending like 10 of it and uh, succeeding once. Come on, do it, do it, do it, do it. Yeah, there we go. Okay, good. We can do this. I'm gonna do this two more times. I'm gonna just use up all of my scrap and hopefully fix my car. Because if my station wagon dies, we're screwed. Because I'll be stuck in the middle of nowhere with the zombies everywhere. How do you fail a 62%? <laughs> I mean, you got a 38% uh, chance of failure, but that's not the point. Let's say repair one more time. Come on, please, 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 just a little bit, please. I, I this is an interesting system, but I kind of wish it was just. Spending the scrap. Yes, thank you. So we spent 15 scrap and got just barely over halfway. But I still like if I did that, that would have been great. One more would probably fill it, or at least get really close to filling it. I kind of wish that it was more of a I just spend 15 scrap to fix it sort of thing, as that would be way more reliable. All right. So how much ammo do I have? I currently have 55 bullets. So we're gonna do job. 50. Yeah, I can do this. 22 bucks, and which would uh hopefully buy me more than ammo I'm going to be using. We'll find out. We'd have to find something. Is it this? Oh, it's one of these. Oh, these are good. These right here, I've done one of these in each episode so far. I need to just go all the way to the right, and there's going to be um, some supplies there. Quote-unquote supplies. It's something that somebody apparently dropped. It just looks like a giant crate. But I need to get to that without the zombies killing me, but because it's this style... Oh, no. Uh, this style versus the one where there's... Uh, you just have to... Hold off the zombies. Oh no, I can avoid the zombies. I can do this like a proper zombie survival thing and just outpace them because they're all shamblers and I'm ever so slightly faster than them, be faster than them because I'm also very slow. I made it, yes! What did I, f could you tell me what I found? Because I risked my life for it. So I was lucky to be alive. Um, precious to me in a horde of zombies. I dropped some, is this just, mm, I'm gonna do it. 
Manu, uh, I think it's the same thing. If it's just survive, I don't think it's shoot everybody. Yes, there's gonna be more zombies, but I'm gonna get $45 out of it. I'll be short like two legs and maybe a couple of fingers, but I'll have $45 and that'll totally make up for it, except that it won't. Right, it's just outpace them. Don't waste any ammo on these stupid zombies unless you have to. There's a lot of zombies. There's gonna be a lot of zombies. Luckily, they're all still just as slow as they ever were. So as long as I can just uh, maneuver them and just squeeze through the gap, we'll be fine. It's fine. Go, 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 go. Run. Or, uh, uh, what's the word? Not walk, not run. Uh, jog. There we go. I forgot the word jog. Jog, jog, jog for all your worth. It seemed like the same number of zombies. I don't care though, because we succeeded and made 45 bucks. So, um, and it was 22, so we made $67. That's amazing. I'm like a rich person now, except not. All right, so auto shop. I can buy, oh, can I buy just scrap now? Maybe repairs? So, why? I'm just gonna do this. Screw that. I'm just gonna pay 29 bucks for you to fix my freaking car. Oh, wait. Uh, how do I do it? There's one right here. There we go. Yes. Um, it's probably stupid. I wanna do that. I want my car fixed, not. You, how is that the same amount? The, the, fix like a fifth of my car costs the same as to fix 5% of my car. That's just BS. Not even that, was like 2% of my car. Either way, I don't want any more of this. Hopefully. I don't know. Oh. Uh, never break battery. Replace the battery never needed. Oh, that's awesome. I don't have money for it because some moron just spent all of my money on fixing the paint job of my car. And it, that moron, blah, 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 that moron was me. All right, so should we scavenge a little bit more? We've got, we've got good food. We should, we could use some more ammo though. Let's, let's scavenge a little bit here. See if we can get some money and or ammo. <gasps> it's a pumpkin. I say that. I know I said in the first episode. I know I said in the second episode. I cannot remember if I said in this episode. I'm thinking this. Oh, there's money, 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 money. Get the thing. This uh, game seems to currently be very Halloween themed. I don't know if that's a normal thing, because um, if you happen to have not seen the last two episodes, I'm playing this blind. Um, so I've, I've never played this at all. I've, I've seen some about it, I think, but I've never played it. More money? No. Why are you putting this in place? <gasps> no, I got bitten by the zombies. So you were attacked by a zombie. You've been carrying food. You managed to keep $25. <laughs> I got myself bitten because I was. Oh, I actually took damage. So, can I not heal? Because if I. I'll use medkit on myself. I'm gonna do that. Excuse medkit on me. There we go. Because <laughs> you, I'm gonna rest for everyone else, but nobody else seems to. Uh, like, when we're resting, I don't seem to gain any health from resting. It's like I specifically have to use a medkit for whatever reason. Either way, so um, these guys heal. Shiro and Jenkins are doing good. So, it's amazing that Jenkins is not dead because it's Jenkins. If you've watched my videos, the guy I named Jenkins always has bad things happen to him, but uh, these two are actually doing really well And how it currently is set up is the uh, the two right here. These two have been bitten by zombies I didn't mention that in this episode. I've got two zombie infected people in my car, which is great um, And they let's see can I buy some ammo, please? I need to buy some there we go um, in my car Does that all you have? I only have 20 bullets in stock. Luckily. I didn't use that much. So that's good. Wait, did I buy it? Yeah, I did buy it. Okay, so we got 35 bucks left I think we are good on supplies. We got good enough for that. Fuel's fine. Ammo is a little, it's kind of low. I don't like that. Make it really high. Uh, so I think we're good for now. So go, let's go on. We're leaving the low. Oh. Uh, you must cross a horde of zombies in order to continue on the road. This is like forging the river in Oregon Trail. Yeah, it totally is. So the horde in front of you is currently large in size and appears to be alert, which means we should not try to sneak through because I was actually looking at these uh, choice options earlier. So uh, you can attempt to seek through the horde if they're not alert, which they are, they're very alert apparently. So you can also fight your way through. You'll attempt to drive through the horde um, at top speed, firing from the windows as you go. A large and angry horde may still be able to, o able to overwhelm your vehicle. Seems like a bad idea. There are mercenaries nearby. You may be, uh, may be willing to protect you for a normal fee or nominal fee uh, as you pass through the horde. Um, I, oh, I can wait until they disappear. Um, We've got, we've got a lot of food. I'm gonna wait. I'm just gonna wait here until they disperse. It probably said disperses, not disappears. Did they disperse? Maybe? Please? They're, oh, now they're ravenous! That's worse! Why did they get worse? So, so I'm gonna wait one more time. So is, is it passing in days or hours? What's it doing? So this is, um, just, it's just an hour later. They're, they're only agitated. It's good. They're going down. They're just a little bit annoyed. Somebody stubbed their toe and has been yelling about it to all the other zombies. Now it's a massive horde. I think it's just randomly changing. We got more zombies, but they're less aggressive now for some reason. And they are now ravenous again. Okay, we're gonna wait till they're not that. Okay, less massive and less ravenous, and then we'll try to force our way through because apparently we're gonna have to do that. So, something alert. 
They're alert. So it's better than ravenous, but still. I'm gonna wait a little bit more, because we got a lot of food. Like I said, we got lots of food. So, come on, come on. Same thing! Give me better options, game! I, I need, I want to survive. Survival is my main goal here. Ravenous, that's worse, I think. I'm pretty sure that's worse than just being alert. I don't know. I'm not a zombie. I've never met a zombie. So, oh, it's only large and agitated. We're gonna break out the guns and clear a path! Cause, uh, wait and attempt to sneak through. Yeah, we're just gonna have to shoot everybody. Shoot! Kill them all! D don't shoot Jenkins! Don't shoot at nothing! Also, oh, so you were overrun. You lost the following. Two med kits and $10. You know what? I'm fine with this. I had like eight med kits. I got a decent amount of money. Nobody got bitten. Nobody's dead. It's totally fine. Also, the zombie horde was like right outside the walls. Could we have just gone inside and slept or something? Just waited? I don't know. Why does it keep stopping? I'm not sure if that's us uh, waiting for stuff or... Because it's not a day passing. Because there's still the moon right there. So you're out of water and you can't find nearby. Everybody's dehydrated. Awesome! Glad that happened! D luckily it doesn't seem to do all that much. <gasps> there's a place! So a uh, gas f uh, fell off and spilled so we lost a gas can. So uh, we've got nine and a quarter gas cans. A weird number to have there. So you suddenly find yourself surrounded by zombies! Oh, I gotta fight them off? I gotta fight them off! Pull back to aim, build the zombies, get to the station wagon! Yes! Oh! I've got yet another gameplay mode that I haven't tried yet. Could you stop barely missing me? Why, why do- no, no, like, miss me! But me, me talking to me in third person for some reason. Stop it! Stop sucking! Wait, I say you. You, me, that would be second person, I don't care. Either way, shoot these guys. Shoot, shoot the not guys, they're zombies. But I've never understood why, like, zombies are very often portrayed as being green. I don't... Does rotten meat turn green? It might, it might. I don't know. But I'm pretty sure they wouldn't just be green all over. Or have purple insides. I don't think that's a thing that happens with... Then again, zombies aren't a thing either. Other than, you know, the... The, the thing that everyone likes to bring up where there's the thing that infects snails and, like, takes over their brains and makes them go up in places. No, it's not snails. It's, uh, ants. It's kind of creepy. But either way, it's not, um, that. Then they don't turn green. So, the cave. Anywhere to continue. So, we've found an ice cave. You know, a nice, safe, warm cave covered in ice. Well, I say ice. This may just be a stalactite. See, stalactites, no stalagmites. It's only stalactites because I know the difference, so I feel the need to point it out. So, let's see. we got trees. Nothing really interesting here. We, apparently, we were, like, hanging out our underwear to dry. We we're making stew with no fire because we're in an ice cave and we don't want to melt through the floor. That'd be really stupid. And we're all going to share one sleeping bag. It's going to be a little tight, but it's going to be nice and toasty. We're going to we're gonna get to know each other here. Also, apparently, the guy from Resident Evil 4 is here to share our sleeping bag. Uh, I'm kind of confused now. Also, a little bit scared. <laughs> all right, so... Everybody seems to be doing okay there. I mean, I'm going to let them rest, but I might want to go ahead and... Uh, see, Comet Trainer? So I've got, I've got no money. So what does this do? Action Hero! A chance to not use a bullet when you fire! That doesn't even make sense! I love that! It makes sense for, like, 80s action stars. Well, also 90s, I suppose, too. So I've seen Scavenge... Let's see uh, what kind of jobs do we have here. So I can... 90 food! It's dangerous. Crate fell out of the back of our car. Can you find it? It's gonna be like the other one. It's dangerous. It's not suicidal. I don't think I've done a suicidal one. But 90 food. That's a lot of food. Granted, 90 food is only worth $9 for some reason. But, you know, it's still... It's kind of cool. I really don't need food, though. Maybe I, I could take it and sell it. Or I could just scavenge. How much uh, ammo? Ammo. I've got 53 ammo. I need to find money for ammo or just find ammo. But I, uh, I found candy! Candy! Is this a bush? Somebody... Somebody broke the JPEG of this bush! I don't know what this is. So, I have no idea. It looks kind of like an airship or like a, a whale. And he's like spraying leaves out of the top of them. Either way, I found some money! There we go. Thank you very much for that money. Shoot you in the face. Shoot you in the face. And shoot you in the face! Because I feel like shooting everyone in the face now. Okay, so you die. Let me go ahead and get this money. Or not money, this uh, candy money! Money can- not candy money. Candy money would be really useless to me right about now. I need candy or money. Well, I guess candy money would be candy. It's not the point! Shut up! Me and anybody who actually cares what I'm saying. Either way, let's go this way. Let's not get attacked by zombies. Yes! Well, can I leave? Did I actually touch the edge of the screen? I don't know if you can just leave if you feel like it. I also found 20 bucks. That is awesome. It's not enough for this, though. This would be super, like, 80 bucks. I want 80 bucks. That would be so good. Um, so I can't do anything. With, like, the jobs are pointless because it's giving me 90 food. I'm fine on food. Uh, what do you say we go ahead and just uh, rest for a couple of hours here? I mean, I need to be a couple of hours. Let's see what happens after one. And... Yeah, let's go one more. See, so we'll do a couple hours. Most they'll be mostly healed, except for me because apparently I don't sleep because I'm secretly a robot, which is why I haven't been killed when I got attacked by zombies. But that's fine. Don't worry about it. Kind of curious if you can be infected by zombies. 
I'm sure. I'm assuming you can't. Like, these are these all can be affected by zombies. Then you can take them to the promised land of the no zombie place, and either they'll infect everyone else with zombie virus, or we'll shoot them on the way in. And that makes me feel bad for Squiggles and Meat Shield either way. But then again, I named just Meat Shield, so I mean, I kind of expected this. All right, so uh, roadmap. Where are we? A little bit faster. Where are we getting? There, there, there. We've only got one. Oh come on! I really want to get the. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try scavenging a little bit more. We got, we've got ammo. I I need I need to buy more ammo, but I also really want to get that thing that'll make me uh, have a chance to not even use up ammo when I'm firing. Because that'd be really, really useful. Currently, I just, yes, scrap! Scrap is good. Uh, fix my car with scrap. Um, currently, I think it was the last episode I bought... Um, or was it this one? I don't know. I, if it was the, this one, I apologize. But in, I think it was the last one. I'm rambling now. <laughs> in the last one, I bought a um, body armor. Basically, I was able to... Learn how to body armor, however that works. Instead of just buying body armor, the guy taught me what body armor was, and then I was, uh, I'm now able to take less damage if I lose a combat, which I'm assuming is this right here. If they grab me, I quote-unquote lose a combat, which is uh, a bad thing. 15 scrap, I found no money! I need money! Give me money! How much, am I, uh, am I all good here? Yes, I am. Let's go ahead and do one more scavenging. I've only got 44 ammo. I'm gonna, I need to buy ammo. Unless I could find ammo. If I could find ammo, that'd be great. Ammo or money. Please, I've got lots of food. Um, scrap is good, but I, I really prefer money. This is really useful. Food, food's, uh, nice. I got lots of food. She's gonna not bother shooting that zombie. There we go. Just stun him a little bit, it's fine. He's got a stupid jack lantern face. I'm kind of curious if this is currently money, 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 money. Uh, zombie. Yeah, there we go, thank you. <laughs> if this is currently uh, Halloween themed, I'm really curious what these uh, jack lantern zombies look like the rest of the time. What would they have on their heads? Don't, like, they also got little goat- like, got evil goatees! Like, they're evil goatee zombies! With jack-o'-lanterns on their heads. It's kind of weird. <laughs> so, oh, about 20 bucks. How much do I have now? I have 50! Mm, I need more than that. It's fine, though. I guess we'll just have to buy some ammo. How do you have nothing for sale? Why do you have a store if you have nothing for sale? Mmm, I don't know what to do now. But, um, let's see, uh, ammo, ammo- I'll use two bullets? We're gonna scavenge some more, because I only spent two bullets on that. If I can do that some more and find some more ammo, or money, that'd be great. I need- I want 30 bucks. Could you please just give me 30 bucks? I'm gonna shoot that zombie in the face, because it makes me feel better. Here we go. Hello? Zombies? Do, do any of you have 30 bucks I can borrow? And then I'll shoot you because you're zombies and I don't really want to pay you back? That'd be great. I, I'd appreciate it. Maybe you could, like, sell me your pumpkin head. Ooh, no. Not sell me the pumpkin head. Just give it to me and I can sell it to somebody else. Mm, there we go. Actually, I can- they don't have anything in their store, but I can't sell my stuff, so maybe I'll just sell some food. Because I think I had like 900 food or something, just insane. Like that. Nope, 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 zombie. No zombie, no zombie. Could you... I'm not finding anything while scavenging. Hello? I, I need stuff. I found 15 scrap, that's good. Actually, 15 scrap's a lot. I got a lot. I got 30 scrap now! That's insane, I love that. Alright, so let's go ahead and uh, sell some stuff then. Because they, they don't have anything to sell me, but I can sell them some stuff. So, sell some scrap. Scrap's only worth one apiece. I've got 30 scrap though. Oh, if I sell 20 scrap, it's not gonna be enough, but that gives me a big chunk. Because I'll sell food. How much food do I have? Food. I have 1,200 food. Let's sell a little bit of food here, why don't we? I can sell, I've got a lot of food. I'm gonna sell 400 food. Get 40 bucks for 400 ounces of food. Is ounces. I don't actually know how much 40, 40 ounces or 400 ounces would be. Because um, I'm not really sure how much an ounce of food is. I don't really know. But either way, I believe now we should be good to go over to Combat Trainer and learn how to not use bullets. We just shoot with our brains. We use mind bullets now, which is kind of cool. All right, so I can't actually buy anything. So what do you say we go ahead and leave this smelly, stupid town for dumb people? And by town, I mean a cave. There was a town inside of that cave. I don't know how that worked. We all got dehydrated. It's fine. We only lost a little bit of health. Luckily, we... Rested in the cave, and we've got an obnoxious amount of food, so we're fine. Was that, are we going to Vegas? No, Vegas is... What is that pyramid for, then? Or is it a road? I don't know what that is. Can't stop being dehydrated. We're in Memphis, Tennessee! I'm assuming it's Tennessee. They have a pyramid in Memphis? I didn't know that. So apparently, here we have, um... A tree. I know this is a fire hydrant, but it's like it's a tree made of blue and it's uh, exploding. Uh, here's a zombie here who's apparently just decided to smear Kool Aid all over the ground and uh, left his arm. He'll, he'll pick up his arm later. It's fine. He doesn't need that right now. His arm's over there. Got Kool Aid and 
stuff everywhere. This, this zombie up here is eating a piece of toast with um, jam on it. And uh, apparently the Egyptians were actually from Memphis. Who knew? It's kind of interesting, I guess. Okay, we actually made it to another town really fast. Uh, maybe I'm playing this game really slow because I'm wanting to survive. I'm trying to do this somewhat smart. I know I'm probably making lots of bad decisions, but nobody's died yet. We've had two people get bitten, but that's a random event. I couldn't do anything about that. So, you know, I'm not, I don't feel too bad about that other than that I prefer Squiggles not to die, but Squiggles is gonna have to die. I'm gonna have to shoot him on the way out. Um, I guess, maybe, uh, if I can keep doing this, I don't really have to kill anybody, because I've got a lot of food. I know I'm playing this on medium, so maybe if I was playing on hardcore or suicidal or whatever it was called, uh, we wouldn't get nearly as much food, but currently I'm like, I'm doing fine. All right, so what kind of jobs do you have here? 13 bucks and a muffler. Okay, so 13 bucks. Uh, there are a couple of troublemakers who've been stealing and uh, stealing from us. Dispose of them! I did one of those last episode. It's actually pretty cool. Um, defense. I'm having trouble uh, sleeping. So we can shoot people outside their house for a muffler, or we can shoot some bandits, which is like space pirates, put on the ground and on Earth, and it's during a zombie apocalypse. So it's not all like space pirates, because they're not in the water, they're not in space, and uh, they're not pirates. It's fine, though. So, wait for it, and right about there, yep, yes! Now you, I hate this guy, this guy's the one I couldn't kill last time, it took me like three minutes just to shoot him in the face. Go, 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 yes! Oh, that was beautiful! That was the easiest 13 bucks I've ever made, and all it cost was three human lives! I, I killed three people for $13. Really? That's just, wow. That's, that's horrible, on so many levels. Alright, so a muffler, I'm not gonna bother with a muffler. Do I have a supply of mufflers? I have four mufflers. I don't care about a muffler, I'm fine. I said, talk stranger, what do you gotta say to me? These controls suck! Uh, well, I mean, I guess it's point and click. WASD, it's not actually that bad, but it's kind of weird fourth wall breaking there. I'm not sure what caused all this. If it were a virus, how did it, uh, speed so- wait, how did it speed? Spit, spread! You're supposed to say spread. How did it spread so fast? And why are we immune? Are we immune? It's kind of weird that guy said sped. How is spread so fast? Are you drunk? Are you, you may be drunk. Amanda's re uh, Amanda's real anxious to take a hot shower again. That's cool. Uh, see, be careful you don't push your car too hard. Keep moving, but at a fair pace. Um, can't keep driving too fast, and you'll end up with a broken down car. Without a car, you're as good as dead. It's actually, I've been, um, currently, my car, I've been, uh, car's doing good. We set the pace to normal. Uh, at one point, I went to slow, I've been leaving on normal. I don't actually know why you do fast, unless you were, like, at the very end, or you really need to get to an outpost. By outpost, I mean, like, a town or something, and you were low on supplies. But when I'm playing this on normal difficulty, it really doesn't matter. So, um, what do you say? Let's see, we've got, oh, I need ammo. What do you say we buy some ammo over here? Buy some ammo. I can buy 60 ammo. They've got 140 in stock. That could be really useful if I get that. Wait, before I do that, is there anything that they can do here? Auto shop. No, never mind. I was going to see if I could, like, uh... Well, can I upgrade my car? Uh, car upgrades. Let's see, uh... Less likely to for the battery to die. I have never even had that happen before, so we're going to ignore that for now. Let's go ahead and buy some ammo. Buy all the ammo I can. There we go. I am now down to $7. Awesome, awesome. So I think I have um, supplies. I've got lots of food. I've got lots of ammo. I've got, only got one tire, lots of med kits. We've got a decent amount of fuel. Can I buy any more fuel? We'll get fuel-wise. Um, I'm getting 12 bucks for fuel. What do you say we sell something real quick? Get our 12 bucks, and we will be on our way, because I don't really feel like sitting around here. Uh, we get 10 scrap. That's awesome. Okay, so med, med kits? I got... Um, six in stock. See, I could uh, eleven bucks. How much do I need? There's more than eleven, wasn't it? I might sell food. I got lots of food. Let's go ahead and make um. Let's get twenty dollars. That's gonna make it kind of low, but I can get food really easily, so we won't worry about that. Go ahead and buy fuel. Buy one thing, two things of fuel. There we go. I, I didn't need that. I thought I was gonna buy. I was selling all that stuff because I couldn't remember if I could even buy fuel. I sold enough to buy two of them, so it's fine. And now, out of Memphis we go, and we're being attacked by a bike gang that follows us out of the settlement. Which means now, we get to play some road rash and run them off the freaking road for trying to murder us. Die! Die! All of you die, don't shoot me. I mean, it takes me a while to get across the road. You can not- No! Don't shoot my car! Don't shoot my beautiful station wagon! It's gone through so much! I can just stay there and they'll run directly into my back. That is so dumb. That's so sad. I don't even have to try. There we go. Die. No, you. You. No, no. No, no. I don't want to be shot anymore. Thank you. The last time I got through this, I didn't even get shot. This time they managed to get me once. But, like, look at these guys. They're, like, rolling for eternity. Uh, we're, like, are we on one of those, like, walking escalator floor things? Those uh, moving sidewalks? I don't know, because I'm not moving, but they're, uh, 
They're rolling for a while. I mean, I know I'm moving, but you know. Just, uh, see you later. Bye. Have fun rolling for eternity. I hope you get eaten by a zombie because you're trying to kill me to steal my stuff. Okay, so let's see if we can get to the prison. Yay! I always wanted to go hide out in a prison and be attacked by zombies. Okay, so it's raining heavily. You will have to drive more slowly. Eh, that's fine, I guess. So, onward! Let's go! Let's see what our stats are at the moment. So, I've actually not bothered to stop at any time to heal my people. It's kind of sad. To find some roadkill. It's probably safe to eat. Yay! See, the last episode, it made me drive into a ditch trying to avoid a squirrel. And this one, it's like, here, you're gonna eat this ro roadkill. You get no choice in the matter. So, Jenkins tells us, tells a spine-chilling story. Yeah, you do it, Jenkins. You keep everyone... It, like, keep their spirits up by terrifying them during the zombie apocalypse, you insensitive douchebag. It's fine, though. We're doing good. We're actually about to make it to the prison. I'm actually really surprised. So, I might not stop here. I might, I might like, well, we're gonna stop here. But I might, uh, go ahead and move on other way. So, we're surrounded by zombies. Okay, oh, I gotta do more shooty. Shooty, shooty, bang, bang. Shooty, bang, kill. Ready? Nyeh. Die, zombie, die. Uh, zombie, could you move slightly to your right? Thank you. There we go. i murder this zombie. Kill you in the face. And then we kill this zombie in the face. I'm gonna do some crack. I don't need to, like, I was about to say do some crack shots. So I was about to say it sounded like badness. Um, but yeah, I could wait till they get really close to the car. It'd be a lot easier to shoot. But I don't know. I feel like wasting my ammo and shooting them while they're way over there and missing and, like I said, wasting some ammo because I'm an idiot like that. Wait for it. And headshot, headshot, hit. Oh! That actually, like, left a blood spot right where it hit. That was really convenient. It looks really cool. There you go. You can die. And you can be shot right in your zombie air. The air next to that zombie. That was a warning shot. That was the real one. You're dead now. There we go. Ooh. Hello. Um. Okay, so now we're in a, um, a purple prison, which in itself is kind of weird. Uh, we've got a... What's like, is he a gangster or a cowboy? He might be a, like a gangster. Um, here's some, uh, hulks are all in here. They all got their orange jumpsuits. I kind of like that. They're, uh, they're, they're spitting out Kool-Aid. They're covered in orange juice. And this guy who had a gun apparently missed horribly and blew off his legs. And there's a head. Where's the rest of that guy's body? There's also a zombie back here that's uh, missing part of his body as well. Just kind of following suit there. And, um... Despite the fact that it was prison and it was full of zombies, there's just some people hanging out here. It's fine, don't worry about it. Combat trainer. That costs 80 bucks, which I do not have. Move 5% faster. That's not nearly enough for me to care. All right, so what kind of jobs do you have for me here? Bandits, there are a couple of troublemakers. Oh, I'll kill some more bandits for nine bucks. How much uh, ammo do I have? Let's check our supplies. We have 80 bullets. I guess I'm gonna go murder some human life for nine dollars. Here we go. Hopefully it's not gonna be a bunch of guys. It's only three guys. Ready? There's one. Ooh. Ooh, this is the first time I almost got shot because it was really stupid. That, like, went really fast. Or he was at an angle I haven't seen before. Yeah, yeah there we go. Now it's you again. It's always got to have that guy. Yes! I've gotten really good at killing that guy. And by that, I mean I've gotten really lucky at killing that guy. All right, so how much money do I have? I have 12 bucks. I probably need to buy some of my car. Oh, my car is kind of getting messed up here. I can't fix it yet. Oh, I could. Where's my, um, repair? I can try to fix it. We're going to see how this... I didn't realize I could drag that until just now. Um... We're gonna go with five scrap for a 62% chance. So I got two chances of about 50% to hopefully fix it. So please, maybe I can actually get twice. Twice repaired, maybe? Yeah, yeah there's one. Okay, good, I'm glad I used only that much. So now, let's try one more time and see if maybe we can get two full repairs out of this. That'd be, that'd be great. You can like fix my car so I don't have to worry about it as much. Please, maybe it's a little bit. Yeah, no, okay, good. Thank, thank you, thanks for failing, that's great. All right, so our party needs to rest for a couple days. Let's go ahead and do that, or a couple hours. Let's see, let's go one, two. I'll just go ahead and rest for two and see if I need a third one. Probably, I'm not entirely sure. These two right here, I've said it multiple times, but I just keep explaining it because that's what I do. Um, these uh, heal slower than uh, everyone else because they're infected by zombie goop or some zombie virus or whatever it is. I have no idea. And also, I do not heal from resting because I am secretly a robot. So I'm going to use a med kit on me! I get a med kit, you guys get to take a nap. I know you're infected by a zombie virus and it's probably killing you slowly. But I will keep the med kits. You go to sleep, it'll be fine. It's fine, don't worry about it. Talk to a stranger. So, when the infection first hit, everyone was in a panic, looting and killing each other. Now they roam the roads, chasing vague rumors and hopeless dreams. The roads are blocked with those who failed before them. Well, that guy was both really dramatic and depressing. That's cool. <laughs> Good, uh, glad I talked to that guy. So, uh, getting bit isn't the end for you. Uh, some folk, uh, 
out there will kill anyone that's been scratched by one of them. Old Zed heads! Whatever that means exactly. Let's talk to a couple more of these. So I don't know what's up with the animals. I've never found them any- Oh, yeah. There is no animals. It's all zombies. I think they've all gotten, uh, gotten eaten. I go hunting. Sometimes I think I see dogs or something in the distance uh, behaving oddly. Like turning green and walking on their hind legs and actually being zombies. <laughs> so uh, some folks seem to think that uh, 12 fuel cans are enough to get them to a safe haven. Two cans will barely keep you moving for half a day. If one of them breaks and gets stolen, you won't be going anywhere. I wouldn't go anywhere without less than 20 cans. How many cans of fuel have I had then? So I don't think I had that many. I haven't been buying too many and we're already, actually I haven't checked this. Where are we currently? Uh, roadmap. So we've been one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten stops so far, and some, I don't know, it seems kind of, that's interesting. Because I would think this would be more than a, I figured we were traveling for like a week at this point, but it said it'll only keep you going for like two and a half days or whatever she said. That's eh, kind of interesting. Either way, we have now, oh, and we've actually been playing this for about half an hour. So, I think that is going to be it for this episode. Um, and I was actually looking up how to save this game, because there's no save option anywhere. And it seems that it auto-saves if I leave and then I press this. So I can actually- there we go! Okay, that's gonna be it, so. I will go ahead and, um, stop it here, I'll let them just drive for a minute, so, uh, where is it? We're trying to get- You can just drive, do whatever you're doing, I don't care, it's fine. But, uh, this has been more Oregon Trail! I hope you guys have enjoyed more amazing, wonderful, uh, zombie stuff, and, uh, see, ashes cover the windshield, forcing you to slow down, it's fine. I don't care if the guy from Evil Dead is laying on my windshield, that's a little bit strange. But either way, I hope you guys have enjoyed more hordes of ravenous, bloodthirsty zombies, and po- Post-apocalyptic action, take care, and I will see you next time.